Hold up. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Foxy Dude 98 here, and welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today from my channel. Today, we are back with my F1 2016 career mode season 4, part 9 here for the Austrian Grand Prix with Ferrari. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on the video, that'd be absolutely awesome, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel already. Just a couple of things then to talk about before we get started as my phone falls on the floor. Um, first of all, I want to thank you ever so much for making me uh, hit 800 subscribers and also 100,000 views in total on my channel. It's an absolutely huge set of achievements and uh, I really can't thank you guys enough and I want to just uh, take this time to say thank you. Now, a lot of people have asked before, like, why don't you do, like, subscriber special videos? I've decided that when, it'll, if I ever hit a thousand subscribers, I'll do a massive 1k subscriber Q&A. Uh, I have plans to do that. So if I ever hit a K, 1k subscribers, which I don't know if I'll ever do, but who knows what life will bring to you. Um, it's brought me 100k views in total and 800 subscribers, which I never thought I'd have. So, you know, it does do some stuff. Uh, I will do a big Q&A when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so if I do that, then I'll do a big subscriber special for 1,000 subscribers, but uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for that, and I really, really do appreciate it, and it keeps on motivating me, hitting these milestones, to keep doing what I do, and just keep doing what I love, and that's making YouTube videos, so I will keep on uh, doing as that. Second of all, then, of course, there was a lot of uh, discussions to do with what goes on with my driving style. Is it boring? Is it not? Quite frankly, the debates were worse than the Brexit argument. But anyway, I've looked through all the comments and I've looked through what people say. And quite frankly, the most inspiring ones to read were, this is my career mode. This is how I drive. If you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. There's plenty of other YouTubers that you can go and watch. Or you could even play F1 2016 and drive the way you drive. This is the way I drive. If you don't like it, sorry, but <laughs> it's, the way I've, it's the way I drive. Yes, I am aggressive at some points. Um, and yes, I have, and yes, I will take that part into consideration. So I did. I was a bit overly aggressive on defending Hamilton in Azerbaijan. I'll take that into consideration. I will turn down the aggressiveness on the drivers, but my late braking and all that stuff, I'm keeping it because, quite frankly, it's the it's the way I drive. I don't want to change. I don't have to change the way I drive to suit people. I'm just going to drive the way I drive because that means that I actually will enjoy the game. Otherwise, there's no point in me recording F1 videos anymore because I won't have fun doing it because I have to drive in a certain manner. But at the end of the day, this is how I drive and I'm just going to stick with it. So, yeah, that's kind of that, really, and that's that out of the way. And also, finally, thank you so much for the support on my vlog yesterday. I didn't expect it to get anywhere near the support it did. In fact, I was probably... Ex I was extremely nervous about uploading it, to be honest. Um, but you guys have gone and shown it a lot of love and you'd like to see some more soon. Uh, you'd like to see some more vlogs, sorry. And I definitely will do some more vlogs. I know I'm going to London, uh, not next week, but the week after. And I'm going to be attending a Star Wars exhibition in the O2 Arena on the 28th of December. So I'll probably go and end up vlogging that and vlogging my trip to London. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that vlog coming very, very soon. Uh, so anyway then, into the qualifying sessions we go. We got through Q1 nice and clean, cleanly. Into Q2, it was intermediate conditions. Um, and uh, we got through that with flying colours. And then round the final corner here in Q3, where it did start off as intermediates, but it did actually change to drives. We came across the line and set the fastest lap in this uh, track, but it was actually beaten by both my teammate Vettel and Max Verstappen. So Sebastian Vettel takes pole position for the Austrian Grand Prix. Verstappen takes second on the grid, and I'm going to be taking third. But uh, yeah, there's going to be a pretty interesting Grand Prix. The Red Bull getting quite high up there. In fact, I think a lot of people got caught out with the intermediates and the dry tyres and when to go on, when was the right time. Excuse me, and uh, I got sort of caught out as well, but uh, yeah, anyway guys, as you can see, we're so close to beating Rosberg now in the rivalry, it's almost inevitable that it's going to happen, um, but uh, we lost a bit of points in the driver position because we didn't do the qualifying objectives, but let's get these race objectives and let's get on with the race for the Austrian Grand Prix. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have a Ferrari, Massa, Daniel Ricciardo, and Hamilton, Rosberg, Bottas, Perez, and Nico Hülkenberg, Kvyat, Alonso, Jensen Button, and Grosjean, Sainz, Harry Anto, Esteban Gutierrez, and Pascal Wehrlein, Palmer, and Magnussen, Marcus Ericsson, and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. 
Alright then guys, as you can see we're on the grid now for the Austrian Grand Prix and we're going to be starting on the soft tyres and then going on to two sets of super softs. Now you would have seen in Q3 I actually qualified on the ultra soft tyres, however in Q2 it was intermediate conditions which meant that we had to race or qualify on the intermediate tyres, which meant because the tyre choices are decided in Q2, it means that for uh, the uh, race we were allowed to choose whatever strategy we wanted and it seemed that the team wanted me to do a two stop and go from the, uh, the softs to super softs to another set of super softs which I was happy with so that's exactly what we're going to do but as you can see we're on the grid now for the Australian Grand, Austrian Grand Prix and we've got five red lights and we are underway here for this Austrian Grand Prix it's not been a good start from us actually we've had a bit of bad start here Verstappen's got a great start up in front Vettel leads this way can he stay in front of Verstappen he does so and he actually shoves Verstappen wide in the process and that gives me a complete freebie to get straight past Max Verstappen so thanks for that Vettel a bit of team play there coming in from the Ferrari boys but I've got the slipstream on Sebastian Vettel you can see me closing super fast here. Gonna go down the inside into turn two here on Vettel we go. A little bit of a bump there so I decided to get the place back to Vettel as I tapped his uh, side pod there so I decided the best option was to get the place back and try again. So as you can see coming down this long back straight here making the charge towards turn three. We're gonna go for it once again here breaking on Sebastian Vettel and into the corner we go and just as we made that overtake the virtual safety car came out. However I made the overtake before uh, I um before the virtual safety car came out, which means that my position on Vettel stands and we get the overtake done. So that was perfect timing before the virtual safety car came out. I'm not quite sure what it came out for. I believe there was a couple of spinners in the background. So uh, obviously there's uh, going to have caused the virtual safety car. Did not cause a real safety car. If it did cause a real safety car, I would kind of be a bit annoyed because I'm on soft tires and that would have thrown my strategy out the window. But anyway, we're going to be carrying on things now. And uh, the virtual safety car is only going to last about another couple of minutes. Not even that, to be honest. It tends to last about like half a lap uh, before it decides to start ending. Uh, so uh, as you can see now, I, uh, there it is. In fact, there it is. It's starting to end and uh, we can get accelerating once again and continue on with this Austrian Grand Prix, which has been a brilliant start for us. We got past Max Verstappen thanks to the help of Sebastian Vettel as they ran into Turn 1. And then we got past Vettel just in time before the virtual safety car came out. And of course, because I said that I was going to tone down the aggressive driving, of course, I did let Vettel through when I did tap him just slightly because I felt it was unfair. As you can see, then on to lap four of the Grand Prix, though, Sebastian Vettel's coming back at us and says that I kind of want that position back, you know, Foxy. You, I don't feel like you deserve it much. And he fancies a run on us here. So we're coming down the long pick straight now, making the run towards turn one. Will Vettel get this move done? No, he doesn't. Unfortunately, it's not going to work for him. However, he's going to have perfect traction coming out of turn one. He's actually going to get the slipstream on us as we make the long run down towards turn two. No DRS here on this straight. So Vettel's going to have to do it all by straight line speed and slipstream. And he's going to try it here. He's going to go around the outside into turn two. We're going to defend the inside line. And this time, we're going to stay in front of Vettel. And uh, he has now had to wait for another opportunity to get back in front of us. He can use the DRS here. But luckily, I managed to, st for some reason, he did not take advantage of the DRS zone and stays behind us. Onto lap 5 of the Grand Prix though, and Sebastian Vettel is coming back at us again. So me and Vettel starting to pull away from Lewis Hamilton, who's on super soft tyres. So he's doing a different strategy to everybody else. As you can see, round the final corner we go here. We run a little bit wide on the exit, and that's going to give Vettel a good chance here. And he's got the DRS as well. The pitch straight is allowed for DRS usage. And Vettel's going to go to the outside again into turn 1, as we're not going to give him the inside line. And down in the inside we go. We'll fend off Sebastian Vettel nicely there, and giving us a good run from turn 1 up towards turn 2, which is going to help us stay away from Sebastian Vettel. Uh, for the meantime, but there is no doubt you'll probably come back at us. On to lap 8 of the Grand Prix now, and we've actually started to pull away from Vettel now, and Lewis Hamilton has closed in very much so, as you can see here, on Sebastian Vettel. In fact, with him being on the super soft tyres, he fancies a bit of a run on Sebastian here, and that's going to put my teammate into a lot of pressure. So Hamilton here with the DRS is wide open. He's actually going to go for the inside line here on Sebastian Vettel. Can he make this move stick? He does. Lewis Hamilton makes a move stick, and he is up into second place in this Austrian Grand Prix. But they're not done yet. Hamilton and Vettel still fancy going at it. So Hamilton stayed in front of Vettel for a few laps. However, Vettel just decided to come back at him, so he's got DRS here, he's going to make the move into turn one, we go down the inside, can Vettel make it stick, he, d oh Vettel, that is shocking, come on Seb, round the inside, down the inside, he couldn't even make the move stick, I'm sorry, but if you thought my move on Lewis Hamilton and Azerbaijan was aggressive, I'm sorry, but Vettel literally just shoved him way off the circuit, however, Hamilton did make the move uh, stick, of course, with the power of that Mercedes engine, keeping him in front of my teammates, so uh, Vessel's going to have to wait a little bit here, it's going to be not, it's not going to be easy to get past Lewis Hamilton, I know that because I've had to fend off Hamilton a lot of times before, moving further on then, Vettel confronts again, wants to go at Hamilton, and all the time these guys are scrapping, you may have just saw my car there in the top of the screen, 
I'm pulling away all the time as this is happening here. And uh, Hamilton stays in front of Vettel again as he tries that inside move. And again, you can see me. There I am on the top of the screen there. So I'm really starting to pull away now from Vettel and Hamilton as they just continue to battle each other here uh, for this uh, move for second place here. Vettel down inside again. Can he make this move stick? This time, no. Hamilton still fends off Vettel. So really great defending from them. And uh, onto lap 15 of the Grand Prix now. Esteban Gutierrez is out of the race. We're going to have a look why here. So Gutierrez is trying to make a move on the Sauber, actually. So he's going to go to the inside line on the Sauber. And the gap just closes off. And they, oh, they've collided into each other. In fact, Sauber of Gutierrez. And I believe that's Ericsson are both out of the race. So as you can see here, Gutierrez goes for an audacious move. I would probably put the blame on Gutierrez in that one. There was just no space. All he had to do was lift off the throttle and wait for an opportunity. On to lap 16 of the Grand Prix now. Now, Lewis Hamilton came into the pits, uh, which stopped the battle between Vettel and uh, Hamilton. Now, Vettel started to close in a little bit on me, but I was more worried about the undercut from Lewis Hamilton. So I decided that the best thing for me to do was to just try and cover him off, because if I came out in front of him, uh, then it would mean a lot less pressure for me. However, if Hamilton came out in front of me, I don't know what Hamilton's doing strategy-wise, so I just want to cover him off a little bit. I think my pit stop window was lap 18 or lap 19, maybe, I, d I really don't know. I came in about either a lap or two laps earlier than my original pit stop plan, um, which means that it's going to compromise me on these super soft tyres for sure, uh, because uh, the, ch the thing is, is I needed to go long on the soft tyres, and I didn't quite go as long as I needed to. However, you can see that we rejoined in front of Lewis Hamilton by actually quite some distance. On to lap 25 of the Grand Prix now, so coming up towards the end of our second stint on the Super Softs, Vettel has been on this Super Softs for a lot less time than me. In fact, mine are starting to wear out, whereas Vettel's are fresh tyres. So as you can see, Vettel looking very fat, very hard here to try and get past. And I said that I said that really wrong. I am sorry. Vettel is fancying around on us. Not, he's not getting hard, trust me. Uh, I hope, anyway. I'll be really. I'm just going to shut up and just carry on commentating because I've really just completely screwed that up. But as you can see here, Vettel with some DRS. Can he make the move into turn one like he's tried on Hamilton? No, he's not actually close enough this time because this time he's had to fight the exact same car as him. But Vettel got a great run out of turn one and he's going to try what he did before. He's going to make the move here around the outside into turn two. Will he make this one stick? I'm going to try and hold it on here as he makes this move around the outside into turn two. He's got the he's got the line done. I'm going to fend him off though. However, I'm going to be that fair play man like you guys wanted me to. So I was going to still do the late breaking, but I've given Vettel the Space and he can carry on his attack here. DRS activated for Sebastian Vettel. He's going to make the move stick and Vettel takes the, the lead. But we're going to come back at Vettel down the inside of Sebastian. Some great racing between the two Ferrari drivers there as we go hammer and tongs here for the lead of this Grand Prix. And uh, this is actually my pit lap. So this is the lap that I'm going to be entering the pit to chuck on a set of super soft tyres that will... Uh, easily take me to the end of the race. Now as you can see Vettel very, very close. In fact, he's getting much, much closer, especially through this section here. Vettel all over my rear diffuser right now. And you can see he's going to go through the outside line again like he did last time. We're going to break nice and late. And you can see Vettel still there alongside me. However, I am going to pull off into the pit so Sebastian can get away from me whilst I uh, come in for my pit stop. However, Vettel going a lot longer at the moment. So it seems at the moment we're doing the undercuts on Sebastian, but Sebastian's definitely got a good strategy going on here. So I really need to get working and pick up the pace, especially on this super soft tires now, because this is the crucial stage of the race. Can I make these super soft tires last? And can I make sure that I can get these to the end of the race? And will it keep me in front of Vettel? That is the main priority. So I need to get sorted on it. So as you can see here, down the inside into the um, pit lane exit. That is Felipe Massa behind me. We don't need to worry about Massa though. He's just too far back and you can see it there. Max Verstappen is in front and uh, so forth. On to lap 31 of the Grand Prix now. Unfortunately, Sebastian Vettel has made the overcut work. He's now on a set of ultra soft tyres, so he's going to be a hell of a lot faster. And now I've got the opportunity here, because he and Hamilton have had a little bit of a battle here. Hamilton's going to go down the inside of Vettel into turn two. You can see it there as we just come on board here from a different camera angle. Hamilton's going to go down the inside of Vettel into turn two. Will he make the move stick? He doesn't make the move stick, I can tell you. But you can see how much I've managed to close up on the pair of them now as they've been fighting away here. Vettel and Hamilton are fighting hard, and that's giving me the opportunity here. So as you can see, I've got the GRS. Can I make this move on Hamilton? We're going to break it down the inside of Hamilton. Try not to hit Vettel. And we just make the move stick on Hamilton there. I did try and think about going for the double overtake, but I just didn't think it was going to work, so I thought I would just slot in behind Sebastian and uh, take on Lewis Hamilton, because if I made contact with Vettel, that would have really screwed us over in terms of the constructors, so I was thinking more of constructors than driver's standings there, and uh, we're in front of Lewis Hamilton, which is perfect for us, and we are now up into second place in the Grand Prix, however, Vettel is on a set of the ultra soft tyres, and uh, you can already see him blitzing away in front of me as he's on a quicker tyre compound, while my super soft tyres have been on for a little bit, uh, quite a while now, so you know, onto lap 36 of the Grand Prix, Sebastian Vettel has absolutely shot off into the distance. He has been a hell of a lot quicker than me today. And I believe this is going to be Vettel's first race victory 
of the season. So Vettel comes through and wins the Austrian Grand Prix. However, I'm going to come around the final corner here and we're actually going to take second place in this Grand Prix, which will be Ferrari's first 1-2 of the season so progress is surely coming along now between me and uh, Sebastian we finally managed to work together and we did have a battle and we managed not to make contact and Vettel definitely scoring some well needed points for Ferrari but overall then for the for the race um, I felt that I was a lot quicker on the yellow mark soft tyres um, however I think my strategy call in general was wrong I decided to come in early on the soft tyres to try and put on a set of super softs to try and cover off the likes of Hamilton just to see what their strategies were but at the end of the day they were very very far behind and they even did the two stop as well as we see a floating Felipe Massa in the background of Lewis Hamilton there just you know getting out of his car which isn't even, it just isn't even visible um, but yeah basically I made my pit stops too early and uh, Sebastian was able to keep his tyres intact for a lot longer and he was able to go onto those ultra soft tyres at the end of the race and just set fastest laps after fastest laps and go in like two or three seconds quicker than I was. He was on another level today. So uh, Sebastian's showing exactly what he's made of and he's showing us that if we want to win this Drivers' Championship, Vettel may be far behind in this championship and I mean a long way back, but he's definitely up for a fight against us and uh, we need to uh, get ourselves sorted for the British Grand Prix, which will be my home race uh, for the next race and see if we can uh, do anything good on Sebastian then. So as you can see, a 1-2 for Ferrari with Max Verstappen coming through and taking third place. Lewis Hamilton cut fourth in the Grand Prix. I don't know where Nico Rosberg was actually. Where the heck did he finish? Um, he finished all the way down in eighth place. So bad result for Mercedes-Benz overall. In the driver's standings, we're going to continue to increase our lead as Vettel is only fourth in the standings, which means that every time the Mercedes have problems and Vettel and me capitalize, it means that my chances of winning the driver's standings are getting a lot, lot bigger. So as you can see, we are increasing our lead. And in the constructor standings, that one, two is massive for Ferrari in the constructor standings. And that's going to get us further away from Mercedes as we need to do so because they are still a big big threat to us but guys that is going to be it for the Austrian Grand Prix drop a like if you did enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed there is the rivalry of Nico Rosberg done and complete we have managed to beat Rosberg and uh, we are back up to purple in the driver position and uh, we are going to be making one upgrade I believe for the British Grand Prix we have a look at a team update here telling us basically we're doing a great job and the team love us and they really really like us and uh, I'm amazing and brilliant in every single way possible uh, probably Probably not. Uh, but anyway, you can see that we are going to be making a fuel efficiency upgrade because I want to run in rich revs for a little longer and be a more aggressive on the fuel. So there it is, guys. I'll see you for the British Grand Prix next time. Take care, all. Peace.